Okay, Beth, thank you so much for being on this Zoom. I'm so glad you're here with us and get to share this morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me today, Joanne. You're welcome. Um, it looks like you're at the office, not at the house. Yes, I actually got out of the house today and I'm feeling like a new person. It's nice to kind of break it up sometimes and um, I am at the office today. So it's a nice, a nice change of pace. That's great. So we'll have some good quiet time. With you. <laughs> good. Awesome. So Beth, um, you're wearing your, your shirt. Tell us a little bit about your company and, um, and what you're doing. Yeah, sure. So I'm Beth Moon and I'm the owner of Two Maids and a Mop of Woodstock. So we have, um, we're primarily a residential cleaning service. So we do anything from move in, move out cleans to regular maintenance cleanings to one time cleanings. Um, and so this is typically a really busy, exciting time for us. Every, you know, as you know, in the real estate market, it's a interesting time exciting time of year and then also with spring cleaning and and everything that goes on so primarily we focus on residential cleaning but we also do some sm small offices as well um, we are located located in woodstock um, off highway 92 so we are um, um, we service the cherokee county area and um, we are just hanging in there you know really adapting to this new way of doing business and serving our customers and just supporting our employees along the way so the one the one thing that i realized during all of this COVID 19 um that we're going through is that our houses are so lived in <laughs> right yeah. now i mean the first thing i think everyone wants is a haircut yeah a manicure a yeah. pedicure and their house, their house cleaned absolutely That's, so, um, so what, how have y'all, um, started to, to adapt? What was kind of the first things that you, you, you had to do here? Sure. So obviously the first, so my employees are my biz, biggest assets. Um, they're my people. So I wanted to make sure that they were protected and we were also protecting our customers. So a few of the first things we implemented were, um, you know, wearing PPP. So making sure that we had masks, we had goggles, we had shoe covers, um, and also just touching base with our customers. So making sure that they were well, they didn't have symptoms as well as our employees. We just didn't want to, um, you know, there were so many unknowns and we wanted to make sure that we were protecting our customers, our employees and everyone's families as well. So that was really one of the first things that we implemented was just checking in, making sure people were well, and then making sure that we had the proper um, safety equipment. Cool. So, um, so how did you get into this business, Beth? How did this business start for you? Yeah, so I spent 17 years in the corporate world and my husband, Tucker, and I have always talked about owning our own business and um, really didn't have a pinpoint on what that would look like. Um, but after a lot of years in the corporate world, we decided, okay, let's take the leap and really think of a way that we can um, provide a service to families. So we are both working parents and we know how tough it is to get everything done in a typical work week but also be able to you know have make the time to spend with your your family and to do things that you want to do outside of your work so we really felt like two maids and a mop offered a service to families and to other people that might want to not spend their off time cleaning their houses so we we really liked um the the service model aspect of it and i'm just a people person and i love relationships so the fact that we get to go into customers homes and really get to know them and get to know about them uh, really drew us to this business that's awesome so um so how are you um uh, so i guess i should say how so when someone if are, are y'all cleaning houses right now do you yeah, have so a so we, what we decided, so we were cleaning up until, in occupied homes up until a few weeks ago, and we decided to kind of take a breather, help flatten the curve ourselves, and just really, again, protect our employees and our customers. So what we did is we um, took occupied homes off the table in terms of cleaning, um, and we were really doing move in, move outs, or small offices. So while people were not in offices, and folks wanted their offices cleaned and sanitized, um, we have EPA tested and recommended chemicals that we have brought on special um, that that um, combat the human coronavirus. So we were able to um, not only clean, but sanitize and disinfect surfaces. So we, um, for a few weeks, just kind of took a step back to make sure that we were playing our part in um, 
protecting one another. And we are actually getting back into occupied homes as of this coming Monday. That's awesome. So this Monday. Yeah. And, you know, I thought that same thing, too, with all of this that went down. I mean, how clean is everybody's business going to be when <laughs> I'm right back in? I really thought about, you know, my nail salon is opening up Friday. I think if I'm the first one in, it'll be cleaner than it's ever yeah, been. Than it's ever been. Exactly. <laughs> if I wait a week to two weeks, it might not be, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, um I think that's a great point to, to use this time to clean. I mean, the school systems, the restaurants, all of those um, public places are just going to be super clean. So that's awesome. So yeah. that's kind of been, become your niche yeah. vacants and, and um, up until this time. So on Monday, um, you've got some people lined up for cleaning. How, how can we do? Uh, we do. So people are, have started to, to reach out more often and more frequently that you can, you know that people are missing us at this point being in their homes because you are at home so much now, right? So, and kids are home from school. And so folks are, um, you can, I can see a turn in terms of folks willingness and just readiness to, you know, have, you know, have us back in their home. And we have taken so many precautions in terms of how we're interacting with, with our customers, social distancing, using either hospital dis, uh, grade disinfectants or our new EPA tested and recommended um, sanitation products, just to make sure that we're taking that extra step to get the homes as clean as possible and make sure everyone stays healthy. Okay, so a couple questions. What does really clean like the COVID germ? I've always, I mean, I've got vinegar in my house, I've got ammonia. I don't even know what really cleans it. And the other thing is, is are y'all, um, are you treating these first cleanings back as a deep clean or, you know, cause there's kind of a, a deep, I would think everybody needs a deep clean right now. So what I'll ask you on that one. Yeah. So, um, the, your first question is a great one because I think people do have a lot of cleaning products at home, but they don't necessarily know how to use them properly. So one thing that's really important is to not mix products. So there's certain products that shouldn't be mixed together because you don't want to make like a chemical reaction. So you want to know what you're using and use it appropriately. Um, another thing that's important is the clean, there's a cleaning aspect and then a disinfecting and sanitation process that happens second. So we go in and clean the home and make sure any debris, dirt is clean from surfaces. And then we go back and use our disinfectant um, to actually sanitize that surface. So there's a two-step process. And in the sanitation, there's something called dwell time where that product needs to sit for two, three, five minutes, whatever the, product, the label says or recommends to make sure it's killing those germs. And most of your um, typical household disinfectants kill 99.9 percent .9 of all viruses but there are like i said some epa tested products that um, we have gotten our hands on and are able to use now just to make sure we go that extra step and use a product that has been tested against the coronavirus i can't say that anybody that's um i can't say that I, i've done the, a two-step clean like a clean and then the disinfectant just yes I wouldn't know how to do that. But. Well, and also, you know, just you think about all the high touch areas in a home, especially with people being in their home more, like you think about um, light switches and door doorknobs, you know, the, the places that hands are all over. We just want to make sure that um, some people forget to clean the fronts of their cabinets. So just things that haven't been cleaned in a while need to be addressed for sure to make sure that those germs are eliminated. Awesome. Okay, so let me ask you, how can we help you in this, in this, um, in this time? Yeah, so if you, you know, as you guys are talking to homeowners or if you feel that they have the, the pain of they haven't had their homes clean in a while, um, definitely send them our way. We are not requiring a deep clean as a first initial or a, a, a restart because we just feel like um, we're, we're providing a service and we want to make sure that we can get to do proper cleanings for everybody, but just make sure that we, um, you know, get people the help that they need in, in a right. time where they need it. So, and that, that, that's great to hear because the first, you know, my first thought was, is that going to be a, are they going to charge me double? Like, yeah. because they're coming in and it's usually after a long time. That's yeah. 
sometimes yeah. what. And I think some people will want a deep clean. It's just that time of year that a lot of people do want the deep cleans, but that's just something that we've decided as business owners, like we, we're there to just really help people. It might take us a couple of visits to get you back up to where you're at, um, depending on how much people have cleaned since we've been gone. But yeah, we're just, you know, anxious to get back and get to what we do best, which is cleaning homes. So. Awesome. So you said it's Cherokee County. Tell us how we can reach you, Beth, for two yeah. maids. Yeah. So our website is uh, two maidswoodstock.com. Um, the office number here is 678 810 1117. So you can book online or you can call um, me directly. I'm, I'm here every day. I'm, I'm the owner, but I'm also the, the manager. So I'm here all the time. Um, and also if, you know, people have businesses that small businesses that they're trying to get the office up and going in the next couple weeks or months, we'd love the opportunity to come in and do that cleaning and sanitizing just to give you peace of mind that when your employees do come back, that their workspaces have been sanitized properly, that everything is clean and that you're starting from, you know, a really good point when those folks do return to the office. Awesome. So it's, it's two maids, woodstock.com. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Is there a certain uh, website for two maids in a different city.com if someone doesn't live in Woodstock? Yeah. So we have a couple of locations within the uh, Atlanta area. So I would just tell them to reach out to me um, and I can put, make sure that a team kind of gets in touch with them and I can, I can definitely help facilitate that as well. Okay. And the way to reach you, um, Beth, and we're going to put this obviously in our link too, but the best way to reach you directly yeah, you can call me or you can email me, whichever one. Um, so call or text. The phone number is 678-810-1117. And my email as well, if people want to email me, is bethmoon, the number four, at gmail.com. Okay. Awesome. Well, great. Well, thank you so much, Beth, for doing this. I didn't want to take too much of your time, but I think this has been some of the um, – uh, this is this is on the minds of homeowners everywhere and um, and how we can start to do this safely and be courteous and professional all at the same time and I think you've nailed this so thank you so much well thanks for having me it was so good to see your face and hopefully I can see you in person soon yeah exactly okay thank you stay, stay safe and thanks for your family too okay bye-bye okay.